Hello everyone! My name is Raylan Rampasad and I am a Childline Virtual Ambassador. And today, I would like to share a story to you about the Lazy Horse. In a land far away lived a hard-working and kind trader. Mostly, he traded in salt. He also had a horse that was very lazy and always avoided work. The trader used to carry dax and salt from one town to the other. Here, let me load these sacks up and let's go to the town across the river to sell the salt. Trader said to the horse, I am so tired today. Why do I have to work every day? I wish I could sleep throughout the day, but no, I have to carry these loads of salt and move. Horse chattered in mind. After loading the sacks of salt on horse, Trader told the horse, Come on horse, start walking. Cross that bridge. Until then, I'll pack some food for myself. And the horse started walking. The horse was crossing the river. Suddenly, he slipped and fell into the water. As he was carrying sacks of salt on his back, the salt got wet and dissolved in the water. So, when the horse got up, the sacks on his back were lighter. The horse thought to himself, Wow, this seems to be a good idea. Every time I dip in the river, the salt would dissolve and my burden could be less. I must try doing this more often. I hope Master is not watching. When Master reached the town to sell the salt, it weighed just half of what he loaded. Thinking it might be his miscalculation, he sold whatever salt was left and returned home with his horse. The next morning, he again loaded his horse with sacks of salt and started to pack his food. The horse, yet again, started walking before him and made it to the bridge. Horse, I must try dipping trick again before Master reaches here. And the horse jumped into the river. When Master reached the town to sell the salt, it again weighed just half of what he loaded. The trader got really confused as the sacks started weighing lesser every time. The horse purposely started slipping into the water every day so that the sacks became lighter. One day, the trader followed the horse and hiding in the bushes. To his surprise, he noticed the horse's new trick. Oh, that's so cunning. I must teach this lazy horse a lesson soon, said the trader. So, the following day, instead of salt, the trader filled his sacks with cotton and tied them to the horse's back. Out of his new habit, the horse purposely fell into the water. Oh no, no! What is happening today? What is going wrong? How are these sacks getting heavier? Oh, my back hurts! This time, as the sacks were filled with cotton, it soaked water and became heavier. The horse dipped again and again in water, thinking to drain the salt off somehow, but all went into vain. He somehow managed to get up and cross the bridge. He sat on the ground and panted as the sacks had gotten really, really heavy. The trader laughed at him and said, Horse, I am your master. This is your work. I work very hard and worship my work. And I don't make any excuse or find tricks to fool others and avoid work. I must teach you to never repeat this and avoid your work. 
the horse learned his lesson and never tried to avoid his work again. So friends, the moral of the story is, work with honesty and sincerity because laziness will ruin you. Thank you for listening to my story and goodbye.